Hello again guys, Matt here again, and thank you for choosing to get your gaming news here at Livewire. We are getting right back to the Verona Alpha classes, and more specifically their customization. this time focusing on the Viking Raider class. And sorry guys for the Verona content being delayed for a couple of days, I had a gig that was phenomenal, and then got swamped in college work, so yeah, what are you gonna do? You can support myself and the guys by liking this video and letting us know in the comments what you think of the Raider customization and the For Honor Alpha customization in general. Okay guys, I know you want me to get right into this customization, so that's coming up right after this. Let's start off by looking at one of the Raider outfits that made it into the Alpha, which is the Raider Reputation outfit that can be purchased for 500 in-game currency. This outfit looks pretty cool, and you can see the new tattoo styles as well that come with it. Now to see that elite raider outfit and it's clearly all about those horns on the helmet, it looks badass. Now this outfit wasn't available to players in the alpha, only the dev teams, but it will become available on release. Remember guys, by pre-ordering the game you can gain access to the legacy battle pack, which also grants you the sea snake raider outfit that you can see on screen now. And if you order the digital deluxe edition of the game, you also get these sweet looking helmet crests for the Kensai, Warden and of course the Raider, very cool. You can also customise your Raider by choosing your gender and skin tone, but would have been even better if we could change hairstyles and beards as well. Perhaps we'll see this in the future. I'll quickly zip through the colour palette options for when you are attacking or defending or playing as a neutral character in 1v1 situations, or we think, for during the campaign. For the material section of the Raider customization, we can choose what level we want, between base, dark brown, and red, sort of like a maroon kind of leather. You can also select whether or not you want to include the weather color change for certain pieces of your armor, so you can mix and match to customize your character any way that you want. I will now show you all of the options for changing and customizing your armor designs, as well as tattoo options for your Raider.
Lastly then guys, we will take a look at how you can upgrade your gear in game, and with it, how we unlock new looks for our armour. So at the end of each game you have the chance of voting items from the battlefield. This can give you gear that increases your armour stats. There is also a chance that this armour will look different from your previous selection, with better and better designs becoming unlocked as you level up, and get rarer gear. Not to worry though, if you like the look of your gear previously, but you need to replace it with gear with better stats, you also have the option of taking a look of your gear and copying it into gear with better stats, at the cost of some currency. Again guys, just bear in mind that this was a short alpha test, and we didn't collect or unlock a huge amount of gear to show you, but we will certainly look to do that in the future. Well I hope you enjoyed this look at the Raider customization from the For Honor Alpha. Please let us know in the comments what your favourite parts of the Raider customization options were, and what you want your Raider to look like in game. Until next time then folks, I have been Matt from LiveWire. You can click on our faces on the screen to get to know us a little bit better. Or click here for more news from For Honor and the Alpha Tech. If you are looking for something different, then you can also click here for a look at another game we are excited for, which is the new up and coming Friday the 13th game. Just so a little thing also for the end of this video guys, I'd like to thank you personally for making our milestone of 5000 subscribers, we really enjoy talking to each and every one of you in the comments and through the live streams and so on, so thank you for making what we do more of a reality. Let's get to that next milestone.